jazz up your outdoor space with the Terrace TV. Make sure you have the following tools for the installation. Screwdrivers, a screw gun, a level, and a stud finder. Also, make sure you have a large enough area to support the entire TV and a blanket to ensure your TV is protected. In a pinch, you can use the box the TV came in, laid on its side. You'll also need a friend to lend you a hand, so make sure there is somebody nearby. Once the TV has been fully unboxed, make sure you don't remove any of the plastic film protecting the TV. With the help of a friend, lay the TV face down onto the protective surface. Your Terrace TV is designed to support VESA standard mounting brackets. These are not included with the TV. For 55-inch televisions, use VESA 200 by 200 brackets. If you have a 65-inch or a 75-inch TV, use VESA 400 by 400 brackets. Check that the bracket being used follows this standard. Now let's prepare the wall. Determine the location that the TV is to be mounted. Be sure to place the TV high enough under an eave to avoid any direct sunlight, as this will diminish the viewing experience. Prolonged exposure to direct sunlight may potentially damage the panel, and although the terrace is IP55 certified, it should also not be installed in a place where it can be exposed to direct rain or snow. Please refer to the user manual for detailed requirements. Carefully review and follow all safety precautions detailed in the mounting bracket instructions. This includes mounting the bracket securely to prevent it from falling, and carefully determining where to drill or screw into the wall to avoid all wiring and plumbing. When mounting your TV, be sure to follow along with the instructions that came with the mounting bracket. Once the on-wall section of the bracket is securely mounted, make sure that the bracket is level. Also, check that there is enough space above the bracket to allow the TV to be lifted onto the bracket. Now, it's time to prepare the TV. Before attaching the wall mount bracket, make sure it won't interfere with the removal of the cable cover on the back. If it will, go ahead and connect the wires before attaching the bracket. Using four M8 screws, attach the other portion of the bracket to the TV. Be sure not to over-tighten these screws. This may require the use of the Samsung wall mount kit. Check the instructions that come with this kit. Once the bracket is securely mounted to the TV, it's time to make your connections. Start by removing the cover to the wiring strip. Next, determine which wire slots are being used for the cables. This includes the power cable, any HDMI cables, and AV wires. Remove the silicone bar for each wire or cable being run. Then, make all necessary connections. Be sure that the cable fits snugly into the slot to avoid any dirt or water from getting inside. There is also space to install media players, such as a Fire Stick, Roku, or Chromecast. These should be installed in the media bay prior to mounting your unit. See instructions for details if you plan on using one or more of these devices. Replace the cover and tighten the screws, confirming that all wiring creates a tight fit. Use the included cable holder on the back of your TV to secure all the cables neatly into a single bundle. Now, with the help of a friend, carefully lift the TV and place it onto the wall mount bracket. Secure the wall bracket to the TV bracket as per the instructions that come with the mount. Then, run the power cable to a properly wired GFCI outlet. Do not use an extension cord. Run the source cables to your equipment, such as a cable box, Blu-ray player, and satellite. At this time, you can now remove the protective film. Be sure the brightness sensor on the lower right corner of the panel is not covered or obscured so that it's able to correctly sense the light level. Power on your TV to get it set up. Now you can enjoy your favorite shows outdoors, come rain or shine.